All right, here that baby is. See, it ain't that big around, but it's pretty long. It goes on back up in there a ways. Now, I might have to cut this little tree down standing here. I do, I do. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, something's gonna have to give. So, I'm gonna try and do is pull this bad boy up to that big old pine tree up there that we used before and pull it right up through this hole. Then we get it up there, and then we can deal with it. So I'll get things set up here and then bring you back and you can see what we got going on. I got a battery powered drill in the back of my mule rather than starting up a gassing for that little tree. But it's been sitting in the mule all winter and all spring I ain't used it yet so I don't know if the battery's good or not but we're gonna find out. All right, I'll be back soon. See ya. All right, everything's all hooked up I believe. Get three to one on the little log. Got it hooked up to this big pine tree up here and hooked over to Old Red. So, we're gonna, gonna pull, see if it'll come right on up through there. Now, I hope I can see enough in the mirror and stop before I knock this tripod over and maybe kill the camera, I don't know. We're gonna see. Can I do it? Don't know, don't care. We'll just try it anyway. Beat sitting on the couch waiting for something to die. But, old red spell to pull this one pretty easy, unless it gets hung up. It's got some stuff to top of, it's got some stuff to bend around and pull around and so we'll just have to see. We'll put old red in four wheel drive and let her drift on down the hill here so the rope's tight. And then we'll see what we can do. Acted a little funny there for a minute, but it was tight. Then it got real loose. Now it's tight again, so we'll just keep going, see what happens. Might have jumped over a stump or something. I can see some dust down there, so I think it's pulling. All right, I'm pretty far down. I'm almost to the front porch. So I think I'll walk back there and go take a look, see what we got going on. But the ropes look good and taut. So I think we're onto something here. It might be time to reposition the camera anyway before you guys get knocked over and break a leg. Remember, you watch my videos at your own risk. I assume no responsibility. Uh-oh, yeah, it's coming. It's coming up on the wrong side of the stump. Looks like it jumped over that big old stump instead of coming around it. But it's coming. So I guess we'll just keep pulling a while, see what we can do. We'll leave the camera, leave you right here for a little bit. We'll go pull some more. I got room up there for I gotta stop and reposition the truck. So, you know my philosophy out here in the woods is, if it's working, don't change it. Just go with it. Right or wrong, that's what I do. You know, some people will tell me that's a bad way to do it, but I just try the first thing pops in my head, and if it don't work, I try the second thing. And I'll keep trying them until I run out of ideas. All right, here we go again. Still pulling, feels like. can't see much in the mirror from here. Can't really tell where it's at, but it's kind of looking like the weeds close to the top there are wiggling, so I think I'll back up. 
put some salad in her up and up there to cook. I'm up to the driveway here anyway, so it might be about time to take up the rope slack and move the truck back up the hill and all that good stuff. But we're going to see where we're at first. That's a little sore. That high power ping pill must be wearing off. I think I took it about three in the morning. But well, we'll work through it here. We shall press on. I got a reputation to maintain. Told them girls in the hospital, I'm wearing your dress because you made me, but I ain't no soy boy trans. <laughs> they all laughed and said, I can tell you ain't no trans. <laughs> said, I like my girls. Oh yeah, it's coming. I gotta go here and look and see if it broke off. It don't look as big as I thought it was. Maybe I was concerned about nothing. Hmm? No, it don't look like it broke off. It just wasn't as long as I thought it was. But the branches are good enough size. I can use them in the scrub bin. Yeah, this whole thing can be used for firewood. Right on, brother. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. All right, we're going to have to move you because it's getting dangerously close to you up here. And then we'll... Back up the truck, take out the slack and the rope, and continue on. So stand by, go get a coffee and a donut. All righty, I'm back. Plan B. Since that log's not that big, I hooked the rope to the mule, and we're gonna try and pull it the rest of the way with the mule and see what happens. I think got that far to go and it ain't that big. So maybe it'll work out all right. I didn't, didn't feel like backing old red all the way up here again, but I will if I need to. Put a, put a old mule here in four wheel drive because the ground's a little wet. Put a dewy. It's a little foggy this morning. And we'll see what we can do. I think it's coming. I think I see the end of it moving. All righty. In the mirrors, such as they are on the mule here, it looks like it's right there. I had a pulleys on the tree, which means we got to stop. Oh yes, close enough. For sure. Let me turn the mule off. Two lots down. It looks like there's a green surfpo truck sitting in their driveway this morning. I wonder if there was a killing there last night. <laughs> Gotta clean up the blood and guts. And get it off the walls before the sheriff shows up. <laughs> you never know around here. All right, that worked out pretty good. We'll get all this stuff picked up and put away. Then I guess I'll have to get out to get out a chainsaw, start trimming this dude up. I got a small 440 in the back of the mule. I might be able to handle that. If I can't, that's pretty pathetic. But we're gonna try it. I can tell you the truth, I'm feeling pretty good. December 26th, had back fusion, and then May the 28th, I had this double procedure, and here I am, back in the woods, cutting wood, hauling wood, looking good, huh? All right. So, let's get over here and give you a little look at this dude. Ain't that big a dude, but it'll burn. It'll burn. 
It'll burn good, really. There it is. There it is. Through the air. See, them branch, upper branches are big enough to put in there to throw in the wood boy or fill in the holes in the gaps. So yeah, that'll work. So. It's been a good morning, I think. All right. It's only about 8.15 or 8.20. 08.15 for those of you in the know. 08.20. And I think I got a pretty good little bit accomplished here this morning for a guy in my condition. And my condition is looking good. I'm happy with it. So I think now what I'll do is I get that bunch of meal up here and put all the ropes and pulleys and stuff away again and then uh, get that little 440 out and trim up that small stuff so we have that log ready to haul on out of here. Then I got to go up and check my planted trees. I planted three trees up there, two embassies and one... Uh, You can't even remember the name of it now. They grow them in Louisiana. You see them on swamp people. Cypress trees. Cypress tree. Um, but something dug up two of them. That just upset me. So uh, I got some mouse traps and I, pair, I replanted them and put some mouse traps there, set them. And each morning I've come out so far since then, the mouse trap's been tripped. But the tree ain't been dug out. So I'm waiting for the morning I come out and the mouse trap's missing. Then I'll know it's on somebody's nose or somebody's paw going down through the woods somewhere. Huh? Yeah. That's what my plants are going to die. Going to hurt. All right. So you'll see this Friday morning at 0600. You know what to do. And for the three girls that took care of me at the University of Cincinnati Hospital, I am grateful and I will never forget none of you. See ya.